Mr. Hugh Catchpole left us all for his eternal happy abode at 16.45 hours on 1st of February 1997 after a very long innings of 89 years, 8 months and 5 days. In cricket terms, his innings have unaccountable centuries and can be aptly termed as not out as he remained active till he finally fell sick. On February 4th, there gathered at Christ Church Rawalpindi an extraordinary congregation to witness the funeral service delivered by the Reverend Emmanuel Lauren, the vicar of the church. The funeral was that of Hugh Catchpole, an Englishman who had served in India and Pakistan since 1927. Since the establishment of Christ Church in 1852, it was the first time that the congregation was mostly Muslim, except for a few Christian workers of the church. This was because Mr. Catchpole was torchbearer of tolerance and whose funeral it was that his ex-peoples starting from 1930 to the present day were honoring him. Mr. Catchpole, having served the cause of education both in India and Pakistan for 70 years, was being given a final send-off. As his body was being lowered into the grave, three buglers of the Pakistan army sounded the last spot with that haunting last trailing note. O Lord most mighty, a holy and most merciful Savior, deliver us not into the bitter pains of eternal death. Jesus said, All that the Father is the Father's will, which hath sent me, that of all the soul of this our brother departed, and we commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes. Standing to attention were numbers of air marshals, generals, civilians, and other officers of the forces. These were all his old boys, either from the Prince of Wales's Royal Indian Military College, Dehradun, India, Cadet College, Hassan Abdal, PAF School, Sir Goda, and Avatabad Public School. Amongst many who laid the reeds, Air Marshal Asghar was one of them, and Lieutenant General Gul Hassan Khan laid the reeds on behalf of the Rimkolians of India and Pakistan. He was given a signal honor of being buried in the grounds of Hassan Abdal Cadet College, which he established in 1953, and of which he was the principal for many years. His is the only grave in the ground of the college, and the lesson he taught his pupils of tolerance was proudly displayed by a cross being placed on his grave. He has been buried where he wanted to be buried. This was his desire, as he once told me. I am the founder principal of Kerit College, Hassan Abdal. Mr. Cashpole was born at Ipswich, a town in Suffolk, a county on the east coast of England on 26th May 1907. From Ipswich School, where he passed with a very credible record, both as studies and games, he proceeded to University College, Oxford, where he won a scholarship to Oxford University when he joined in 1925. He took his master's degree in 1928. He represented his county at cricket, hockey, and squash rackets. Mr. Cashpole started his career as a teacher in September 1928 at the Prince of Wales's Royal Indian Military College, Dehradun, UP, India. Mr. Cashpole was at the RMC Dehradun till the Second World War broke out when he joined the army. After World War II, Mr. Catchpole rejoined the RMC in 1946. 
Mr. Cashpole was very proud to become the principal of this great institution in 1947 and remained so till 1953. When he arrived in Pakistan, Cadet College Hassan Abdal was in the making. Major General Sherali, an ex-student of his at the RIMC, offered him the principalship which he readily accepted. He was not hijacked by Pakistan, as reported in some newspapers. It was Major General Sherali, a Rimkolian, who decided that the best way to raise the standard of entry into the Pakistan Military Academy was to set up a college on the lines of RIMC at Dehradun. Paucity of funds prevented funding by the army. He, however, was able to persuade the Punjab government to sponsor the project. While funds for buildings, etc., were provided by the Punjab government, the army contributed a large camping ground located in the lush green valley of Harzan Abdal, near the famous Panja Sahib Gurdwara of Guru Nanak Sahib. By the end of 1953, the minimum number of buildings required to start the college were ready. The rest of the buildings came up in stages, and Pakistan got the institution that was to make a name for itself in years to come. In 1958, Mr. Kajpol was asked by Air Marshal Azhar Khan, CNC of the Pakistan Air Force, again an old student of his, at RMC Dehradun to take over the charge of PF school at Sargoda. Mr. Cashpole took along with him several of the teachers from Hassan Abdal. He remained as principal from 1958 to 1967 when he retired at the age of 60. He then joined the staff of the Abtabad Public School as the head of the English department. He chose to go to Abdabad as it suited him climatically and he wanted to concentrate on teaching which he preferred to the administrative duties of a principal. He remained head of the English department till his last days. Mr. Cashpole has donated generously throughout his career, both for sports and education. It will not be out of place to mention that all his savings have gone back to the institutions where he taught. He has donated a squash coat and a guest house to RMC Dehradun. He has made a handsome donation to Kerit College Hassan Abdal. During his last days, he donated for a wing in Abbottabad Public School and established a computer wing there. He was decorated both by the British and Pakistan governments, CBE, OBE and Sitare Imtiaz for his devoted work and services. But one always felt that he deserved more, higher awards, particularly so when cricket players and actors have been knighted. In one of his letters, dated 19th February 96, he wrote to me, I shall probably go to London and see someone who specializes in hip operations. This seems to be the only chance of walking again and challenging Jan Sher Khan at Squash. He always used to say, if I retire, I shall expire. In his last letter to me, dated 4th October 96, he wrote, I am still working, though not at full measure. In fact, I am thinking of retiring, though I shall continue to live as I have been promised I can keep the house. He lived there for 30 years, lived simply, with all the basic needs he required, books, TV, scotch, and gin, no luxuries. We, the students of yours, Mr. Cashpole, will always miss you. 
at the going down of the sun and in the morning we shall always remember you sir with love